Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you ought to open up your mouth. If God's really been good to you, you ought to open up your mouth and say something. You ought to testify of his goodness. You ought to testify of his greatness. He's been too good to me for me to be quiet. He's been too good for me for me to be king with. I got to lift up my hands and say, God, I thank you. Because when he blessed me, he didn't halfway bless me. goodness of Jesus and everything that he's done for me. When I look back over my life, 
Every time I turn around, every time I turn around, it keeps on blessing me. It keeps on blessing me. Every time I turn around, every time I turn around, I keep on blessing me. Blessing me. Outweigh my bad. That's how to say. Every time I turn around, every time I turn around, keep, he keeps on blessing, blessing me. me. Every time I turn around, every time I turn around, keep on blessing. shackling you that problem has got to go today somebody tell him thank you right now grab that Bible and turn that Bible to Mark chapter 10 verses 46 through 52 Mark chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. The Bible begins and commenced to read, and they came to Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind, Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the wayside begging. And when he heard uh, that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou, son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still 
and commanded him to be healed, to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good cheer. He calleth thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What will thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way. Thy faith had made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. I, I, I want to talk about this morning, it's time for a change. You may be seated in the presence of God. It is time for a change. Change is not easy. Change is causes you have to have to make some adjustments. It's not easy to make change. There are many people who have decided that I'm going to make a change and they try to change it themselves. They'll tell you, watch me. I'm going to do things differently. They find out later on they began to do the same thing they've been doing. Because the reality of it is, you cannot change yourself. Regardless of how hard you work, you cannot change yourself. You need a power more stronger than you to be able to change you. The one who created you in his own image and in his likeness, you can't change yourself. It's hard to change. If it was easy, you'd be possibly like the story that I read once of this old hillbilly that lived in the mountains, came and went to the city, went to this hotel, found himself standing by an elevator. And as he was standing there, an old woman, an old haggard woman, got in the elevator. Door closed, and the elevator went up. He was still standing there. But the elevator came down. When the elevator came down, a beautiful, attractive woman exit the elevator. He said, son, he was intrigued about the possibilities. He said, son, go home. Get your mama and run her through that thing for me. Ain't God all right? Change is not that easy. You just can't run it through something and it come back beautiful. Ain't God all right? Some of y'all going to get it when you get home. He thought that the woman went up and came down and came back beautiful. Change ain't that easy. It, it takes the person, here we are, blind Bartimaeus, sit by the wayside begging, blind from his birth. Here he is, sitting here, Begging for money, applying for his living. But one thing about him, we can learn something from. We can learn something from blind Bartimaeus because he did what we need to do if we won't change. Look at him. Blind Bartimaeus never saw 
little infant children walking around saying that's cute. He never saw the flowing of a river with his beautiful strings. He never was able to look up into the heavens and see the stars at night. He was never able to see his own cousins, his relatives, look in their faces. Can you imagine? Never seen the flowers bloom in the spring. See the leaves fall in autumn. He never saw that. But one thing about him, didn't get satisfied. The very first thing you got to do if you want change is you got to desire change. Changes don't come to you. You got to desire. You have to want change because the devil want to blind your eyes. The devil want to blind your eyes. In, in 2 Corinthians 4 and 4, he says these words. He says, let me tell you, in whom the God of this world, the God of this world is the devil. He rooms this earth because he got kicked out of heaven. Him and his demons, his spirits, and he wants to blind your eyes. But blinding the minds of them which believe not. If you don't have faith, you don't believe Jesus Christ is the son of the living God, that he died to save you, he's going to blind your eyes. He want to blind your eyes to the fact that there is a hell. He want to blind your eyes to the fact that it's appointed unto man once to die. And after death comes the judgment. He want to blind your eyes to the fact that there ain't no sense in going to church. I can just have church at home. He want to blind you to the fact that the word of God is true. And you're not and trying to tell you somebody just put this together. No, the reason why I know nobody didn't just put this together because the word got in me. And the word changed my life. I know beyond the shadow of a doubt it was not man-made, no hallucination. I know what's in me. I know the change that took place in my life. Nothing can come and detour me because I know the word of God and I know that Jesus is alive. How do you know he's alive, Pastor Hare? He's alive in me. Everything is moving by the power of God. He want to blind your eyes to the fact that he is real. The devil want to make you think that Jesus was just another man. The devil want to make you think he was just another prophet. The devil want to make you think that he can't heal and deliver. Just because you're going through hell and high water, Jesus is still alive. I wish I had somebody here just to wave your hands and say, that devil came to tore me. He want to blind your eyes. Look at that verse and see what it says. He said he want to blind your eyes to them which believe not. See, if you don't have no faith, if you don't have no faith, he's going to blind your eyes. If you are wishy watching, you come into church just because your mom brought you. It's time for a change. It's time for you to make a difference in your own life. Don't come to church just because mama put you in church. Come to church because you love the Lord yourself. You got to learn how to love him for yourself. Don't come to church out of obligation. He want to blind your eye that you need to make a commitment to the Lord. He wants you to believe that you just come to church and go back home and everything's all right. You need to be saved. He want to blind your eye and, and everybody die. Everybody puts them in heaven. He want to blind your eye. Oh, baby, rest in paradise. You just got to killing 50 folks. You resting in a paradise. But ain't the paradise you think? I feel like preaching. You want to blind your eyes. The preachers who say, don't do like I do, just do like I say. They want to blind your eyes. I'm not following nobody that do like they say, and they're not living it. Paul said to his folk, follow me as I follow Christ. And he said, I'm going to follow him. I'm going to follow on to know him. Ain't God all right? I feel like preaching this morning. 
Somebody shout, you got a desire to change. You just can't come to church waiting on somebody to change you. You got to have a desire to want to be changed. Hear about the male seals. He's got a desire. The Bible says here that he, and here he is by the wayside. The reason why I knew he had a desire, because he didn't procrastinate no more. That's my second point. Don't procrastinate. Stop procrastinating. So many of us, it's famous in our society. Men and women, boys and girls, stop procrastinating. You'll miss your blessing. You miss your opportunity. Procrastinating. We the worst procrastinators there is. Church folk. Well, I'll get it done tomorrow. Come on now. Well, I'll come up and get prayer next Sunday. Well, I wait at the church and tell Pastor Hare when he called the prayer line, that was me. Jesus has already passed by. He's on his way to Jerusalem. He's on his way to the cross. But, but, but Brian Bartimaeus knew that he was on his way to the cross and he said, this is my time. If I miss this opportunity, it may not come, it can't come in back no more because he's going to die on Calvary. I, I wish I had somebody here. He was, how you know he was on his way to Jerusalem? Because the very next chapter, he says that he told his disciples, go into the city and you will find a coat tie. There you tell the man there, the master need need of him. Let, let, let me tell you, then that lets me know that he was on his way to come into Jerusalem and ride that donkey, king of the Jews. Hosanna, he's getting ready to die. He may not come by. See, see on Sunday morning, folks, when God moves and present grows. Don't sit there if you got a desire to change and act like you've been eating sour quinces. If you got a desire to change, you got to put procrastination out the door. So I'm not procrastinating no more. Yes, I, I, I wish I had somebody to help me pray. I feel like preaching in here. Yes, yes, stop procrastinating. Procrastination is bad. Yes, I, I, I heard a guy one day said, I, I bought me a stair climber. I bought, I bought me a treadmill. I bought uh, me a, 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 a jumping jack. And I, I bought some stuff that, that I exercise on. And it came with every gadget. It tells me, nurses and doctors, it reads my pulse. It shows me my progress. Shows me how many miles I've ran. Showed me how my pulse beat me. But then, the only gadget it didn't come with to get me started. Ain't God all right? Let me tell you, procrastination is bad. Many of us, we say, well, I, I, I'm going to start my exercise, but I'm going out to eat Friday night. I'm going to start my walking and exercising, but we're going on a cruise this month. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Can I preach in here today? I, I, I'm going to start it, but... Keep on gaining pounds, because you keep on talking about... Well, you know Thanksgiving coming up. I'm waiting to after Thanksgiving. Then Christmas come up. I'm waiting. I got to eat Christmas. New Year's come up. Where my New Year's resolution? All of a sudden, it's Easter. Mother's Day. Father's Day. Fourth of July. Memorial Day. I stopped lying to myself. I'm eating. Procrastination heals your worst enemy. Stop procrastinating. You want to get it done? Tell that devil you're a lie. I made up my mind. Some people tell me I'm, I'm going back to church, but every Sunday, that couch still got good. Ain't nothing. I'm going back. I'm going back. 
Don't wait till it's too late. Thank God, all right. By and by the best, he didn't procrastinate. He knew there was his time because he heard the noise. He heard the noise of the camel's hoof prints. He heard the excitement that was going on on his street. He heard the little boys with shies coming around hollering. He smelled the aroma of fish going to the market. He heard the crowd with excitement in their voice. He said something is going on. Somebody rubbed up against him. He probably touched their robe and said, pulled on it. Can I, can I paraphrase from a theological standpoint? He touched their robe and pulled on it. And they said, what you want? I want to know. What's all of this chatter about? In order for him to let the robe go, he says, well, Jesus of Nazareth is coming through. And I can see it then, old Bartimaeus. I can see his adrenaline. Deacon Jerry, he got excited because it's my time. I, 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 I've been trying to do it myself. I've been trying to change. I, I won't change. And I, I've been begging, but I ain't got no change. I, I won't change. And only somebody can, because I've lost hope in trying to get my sight myself. The only somebody that can change me is Jesus of Nazareth. Ain't God all right? Yeah, he is, he is. My next point is that don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about what people say. People don't have no hell and no heaven to put you in. If you desire change, whatever it takes to get your change, you do whatever it takes. They can point at you. They can talk about you. They don't know what you're going through. They don't know the burden that's on your shoulder. If you shout and they don't like you shouting, don't worry about them. You wave your hand, they don't like you waving your hand. Don't worry about them. Do you. Somebody ought to say, do you. Let it do what it do. Ain't God all right. Give me some street talk here. Do what you do. Ain't God all right. Don't let nobody turn you around. He didn't procrastinate and he decided he wasn't going to let nobody bother. Because the Bible says here, as he came and Jesus was passing by, he began to cry out. He began, when they heard that it was Jesus and that, he, he began to cry out. Because he wanted change. He wanted change, but guess what they did? And they said, Jesus, they, they, they told him, be quiet. Wait a minute, be quiet. But he could have, let me tell you folks, he desired change, because he could have done like many of us. You know what, Jesus got so many other things to worry about. Why would he stop and fool with little me? Poor little blind Bartimaeus. He got a lot of things, millions of folk that he is caring about. Why would he stop to care about little old men? I want you to know he could have said that, but he didn't. They told him to be quiet. Shut up. And it was a it was it's 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 it's, 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 it's a verb there that they said continuously in the Greek word, it mean they continuously said it. Incomplete saying he continuously said it. Hey, be quiet. They kept on saying, be quiet. Leave him alone. Get away. That's just like a lot of church folk. If they're not the center of attention, come on. They don't want you unsaved folk bothering. They don't have time for the people that's unsaved. You bothering us. We, 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 we come and gather around Jesus, but we don't care about those who are not saved. Uh-oh, y'all getting quiet on me now. They told him to be quiet. But the more they said be quiet, 
My next point is cry out in faith. He cried out to Jesus in faith. You know why he cried out to Jesus in faith? See, sometimes we cry, but is it, is, is it in faith? Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, have me. No, 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 he cried out in faith. You, you know what he said? He spoke a word. He said, Jesus, oh, thou son of David. In other words, I know who you are. I believe that you are the Messiah. He didn't just say Jesus. He said, I believe that you are the Messiah that came to set this world free. I believe that you are who you say you are. I've heard testimonies, probably personal testimonies, that by and by the males, I know a man from Galilee. He'll set you free. He probably heard them saying verbally, oh, Jesus, the healer, the deliverer, his faith grew. And while he's there and all this noise, it says, he says, this is my time. He cried out in faith. Let me tell you what you got to do if you want God to move in your life. If you want change in your life, I don't care what it's spiritually. See, spiritual blindness is worse than physical blindness. I remember they asked Helen Keller one time, said, Helen Keller, how do you feel about blindness? She said, I'd rather be blind and can see with my heart than have both eyes and can't see nothing. See, some of us got good eyes, but we can't see nothing. The devil wreaking havoc in our lives because we're spiritually blind. See, spiritual blindness is the worst blindness in the world. We don't know what decisions to make. We make crazy decisions. I've seen people during this pandemic. I don't know. They, they can't know the spirit. If it hit them with a Mack truck and ran over them, they wouldn't know it was the spirit. Ain't God all right. Let me tell you, when your spiritual eyes are open, the devil can't deceive you. You know when you're blessed. You know that I'm not messing up my blessing. Can't no devil come and try to trick me and blind my eyes. And guess what Bartimaeus did? He cried out to Jesus. See, if you want change, it doesn't necessarily mean I got to find this and I find that. You just need to desire it and call on Jesus and call on him in faith. Don't call on him in doubt when he cried out to him. The Bible says, as he cried out, Jesus stood still. The only thing that stops Jesus is faith. Your faith will stop him in his tracks. Can I get some witnesses in here? Your faith will stop him in his tracks. Every time faith came anywhere in the vicinity of Jesus, it stopped him woman with the issue of blood she touched the hem of his garment he didn't even see her but he felt it cause faith touched him he said cause virtue left my body faith will stop him in his track he can be on his way to bless me and while he's on his way he passed by your pew you need to reach over with your faith and say, right here. I, I, know you, I know you're going somewhere, but as you're passing by, pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. Why on others? Some other folk calling you, but why are you passing by going to them? Can you just stop by my house? You own your way to Dick and Gerald's house, but can you just stop by? You own your way down to Jeremy's house, but can you stop by Delaware Avenue on your way down? I, I 
wish I had some folk in here to know that if you just cry out to him, though, in order to get him to stop, you got to cry out in faith. I, I need a, he need a faith call this morning. Anybody got a faith call? Jesus. One, 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 one. Do anybody got a faith call? Jesus. Jesus. When he called him, Jesus heard him. Why he heard him? Why did he hear him, Pastor Hat? He heard him because, no, oh, no, hear me. He heard him because he called him out of his heart. Wasn't no wishy washy. Wasn't no talking about I need. Just a blessing for right now. He didn't just didn't come one Sunday and say, I need a blessing and then don't come back no more. Can I get one when this year? He said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Anybody ever call him? She, I dare you to call him. She, she, Mary's baby. She, that matchless name of God. She can't nobody do me like it. She I call him in the morning. She do anybody know his name? That power, power in the name Jesus. There's no other name whereby men might be saved. But at the name Jesus, how many know when you call that name, demons tremble when you call that name. Oh, the devil get out of your way. When you call that name, it turns things around. Your car is almost a run off the road. But you said, Jesus, Jesus, some kind of way. You got a hammer on the stand wheel. Has anybody ever been there? I don't know about you, but I've been there. I know what the name Jesus can do. Jesus, come on, somebody. Jesus, somebody ought to shout right now. Because you know you need it to work a miracle in your life. Shout, Jesus. Heard about the man. The more they told him to be quiet, the louder he got. They said, Shut up, boy. Shut up, boy. Leave Jesus alone. You were in Jesus. But I heard old Bart. Bart said, Jesus. Jesus. Y'all don't hear me. I heard old Bart say, y'all ain't been the one down in the dumps asking for somebody to give you a nickel and dime. Anywhere you gon' tell me to shut up. You don't know what I've been through. I've been through hell and high water. Yeah, and I'm gonna call him because I need him. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Does anybody over here want to call him? Anybody need a miracle in this house? Jesus, Jesus, my soul saver. I heard him say, Jesus, just a little bit louder. It stopped him. He stood still. The Bible says he stood still and told him, go tell him, come to me. The same Negroes that was telling him to shut up. Now since Jesus was paying attention to him, the same ones told him, 
be of good cheer. The master calling on you. See, you don't worry about folks. The same Negroes that been talking about you gonna act like they on your side. When God get ready to bless you, don't worry about nobody. You keep on calling Jesus. Preach up in your hand. Ain't God alright? You wanna walk that in? God, thank you. Tell him thank you. Ain't God all right? The same ones, the same one that told him to shut up is the same ones that grabbed him by the hand. Say, rise. Be of good cheer. Touch your neighbor and tell him, I don't care what you've been through. Be of good cheer. The master is calling you today. The master is calling your name. The master got your name. Oh, oh, oh. change you got to decide to. stop procrastinating don't worry about what people say crowd in faith to Jesus and then follow Jesus in the way follow Jesus in the way not a way see some folks want to follow him in a way they follow him how they want to follow him but the way is a straight and narrow way. You're not going to the left or the right, but you're following him and you're making a commitment. Why don't you lift those hands and tell him thank you right now. Everyone's standing on your feet. You have two good feet. Stand on your feet. Those here in this sanctuary, God is moving in a miraculous way right now. I felt change falling I felt the breakthrough in here today yes I felt the breakthrough and those who are watching I felt a deliverance coming right there in your home I felt change coming it's time for a change we've been going through the motion long enough God is allowing certain things to happen to get our attention what is going to take for us to make a commitment. Lord, 
you are the change in my life. I'm going to be fully committed. I'm going to say yes to your will, yes to your way. Whatever you want me to do, God, I'm going to do it. Young man, young man said this. He, he, he wrote something. He said, I am not here. My name is I am not here. Because he said the reason why I say that is because all the things that happened in my past, I'm really not here because I keep dwelling on what happened in my past. And then he says, my name is I am not there. He was dreading the future. Forget about yesterday. I am not there. But then the last thing he says, my name is I am here. I am. And wherever you are right now, this is where you are. You can't worry about yesterday. You can't live in tomorrow. But live in this moment and take advantage of that moment and opportunity as by the mail still in the moment. I am. My name is I am here. And if it had not been for the goodness of Jesus and all he done for me, I wouldn't be here. Start going around. Stop worrying about what happened. Stop worrying about tomorrow. I'm here. As long as I'm right here and know who I am, I, got, I, got, I can make it. Somebody shout, I can make it. Lift your hands all over this building, all over the sanctuary. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Son of the living God, as the anointing move up and down the aisles through every pew, as your anointing overflows this place, I should engulf it and touch in a special way. Don't let nobody leave here as they came in Jesus' name. Because when you're passing through here today, and God, I know you're standing still for somebody right now. And God, move right now, God. Lift them up. Lift them, God, in the name of Jesus. We pray this prayer. And we believe in it. We receive right now. In Jesus' name, everybody say amen and thank God. You may be here today and said, I, 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 I need a word based by believing church. And after going through all of this, this is the place that God is telling me you, you can come right now.